Good afternoon, everyone. Headlines just out. U.S. scientists declare 2016 hottest year on record. Uh, that's not exactly true. Tied with 1998, the record broke by seven one hundredths of a degree. And NASA's only 62% confident that that's correct. Yet remote sensing systems, statistically insignificant comparison to 1998. University of Huntsville, Alabama satellite temperatures show the same thing. But one glaring error on the map is this cold blob has been hanging over Asia for over three months. If it were truly this warmest year ever, the U.S. should have had more days over 95 degrees Fahrenheit than the 1930s. Davos elite worried about populism, want to redistribute wealth more, but they're going to have to tax everybody in order to do it. Carbon tax is the solution. An extra hundred U.S. dollars to heat your home. An extra $400 to drive a car. While you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030 and pass it through your social media. Headlines blaring U.S. scientists officially declared 2016 hottest on record by 7 one hundredths of a degree. Remote sensing systems and University of Huntsville, Alabama satellite temperature show equivalent with 1998. But NOAA's only really sure that it's 62% correct. They're not even anywhere in the 90% range that they're certain this is the record. That should be questioned alone. And one glaring thing that stands out on this map right away is the last three and a half months in Asia have been record cold. It has been 20 degrees below normal temperatures in the fall and as it got into winter bone chilling 50 degrees fahrenheit below normal temperatures for months on end now that's literally a quarter of the year where it was between 20 degrees and 50 degrees below normal temperatures day in day out 24 hours a day that whole arctic cold system shifted south over mongolia siberia and I cannot believe that Noah even puts this, drew the arrow for you in this area in question. I encourage you to do your own research on this one. Why not here for the actual temperatures, 50 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. And it's been like that for weeks and weeks and weeks. Remote sensing systems, RSS, confirmed 2016 tied with 1998. University of Huntsville, Alabama, Dr. Roy Spencer, showing again 1998 tied with 2016. I linked everything below so you can back check. Jumping over to global surface temperatures, three month snapshot here, looking at the green line southern hemisphere. October is springtime. January right now is the middle of summer. How is it that the southern hemisphere temperatures are not warming up this summer? And if it truly were the hottest on record, we should have more days over 95 degrees Fahrenheit in the United States. But you can see 1930s, many more than today. We're so far below the average, we weren't even equivalent to the 1950s. So that should also raise a red flag right there. And it's all based on the CO2 myth. And when we look back at longer time frames than the 1979 satellite record, temperature undulates up and down, not based on CO2. Although the response to this is now they want to start employing geoengineering. They want to inject light reflecting sulfate aerosols into the atmosphere, the stratosphere to cool the planet. And if you've seen anything like this over your head, they're already doing it. But they're using a different array of nanometals, but they want to start introducing sulfuric acid into the atmosphere. Boy, that's going to feel nice when it rains down. But then what they found out is, well, that's going to destroy the ozone a little bit. So they're considering doing calcite, basic limestone now. And when you look at satellite imagery, wow, looks like it's in play already. Glad they consulted the world's populace before they put this program into play and start twisting our weather patterns. Perhaps this is one of the reasons that the weather is so out of kilter. Maybe it's not CO2. Maybe it's this program messing with our weather. Jump over to Jim Lee's site, climateviewer.org. 
Amazing array of information there as well. It'll really help you dig into the issue. Jumping over to Davos, the elite are scared of populism, meaning that you no longer want to be ruled by old dudes in castles with unelected officials telling you how to live your life. Gee, that reminds me of the 1500s. Well, that's the EU right now, so same, same. They're fixed for this random populism across the planet, more redistribution of wealth, but they're going to need to tax you more. And the perfect solution, a carbon tax. Just to heat your home in Canada, it's going to cost a hundred US dollars more per year to stay warm and not freeze to death. And if you're driving like most Americans do, it's going to cost you an extra $400 carbon tax for your petrol to run your automobile. And you wonder why they keep pushing this agenda as the warmest year ever. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Please jump over to my Patreon page. You can support my work over there so I can continue to bring you videos like these.